awesome guys, back another video, so before I even talk about anything to do with today's video, yesterday's video done insanely well on how well my videos typically do, it's got like 80,000 views in 20 hours already, thank all of you so much for the support. Well since this, it's clear to see Logan Paul, he's dealing with this controversy you could call it, in the best way possible by trolling everyone. He released a video to Twitter yesterday with the caption, how I'm drinking water from now on. <laughs> when you analyse the situation, try and think of the best outcomes, how we could have dealt with it. A, try and be salty and say how it wasn't him. B, completely ignore it. Or C, just join in with the situation, troll around and have fun with it. Logan's co-host on Impulsive, Mike Wajowski, I think his name is, he tweeted out last night, we're going to talk about this a lot, I'm sure. But here's a quick breakdown. 1A. A video of Logan drop all anger, sucking a ween hits the web. Two, Logan trends at number one globally for a deep fake, deep throat. Three, enough people confuse Logan and Jake that Jake trends globally for sucking peen too. And what a strange situation this is. It literally just blew up out of nowhere and I'm sitting here and I'm wondering who was the first person to even leak this video? I thought considering the last video got some decent traction, we check out some of the funniest comments people were leaving down below. Straight off the bat, a classic comment I get all the time, Charlene NG commented, I couldn't understand what this man was saying. Now, I don't know if that was an American that can't understand me, but it got like 180 likes, meaning 180 people can't understand the waffle coming out of my mouth, and I'm giving out some really good waffle, and it confuses me how you can't understand, because my voice is the most soothing voice in mankind. Jacob Tolliver commented down below, Logan Paul is sus, change my mind. Do you guys believe Logan Paul is bi? Because do you remember, I think it was the start of the year, he said he was going to have a gay month or something along those lines, and who knows, it may have actually come true. Blackpink hit the nail on the head with this comment. He or she commented, love your Australian accent. Sorry if I'm wrong, either way, like your accent. I appreciate the last part of that comment, but Australian, I'm just getting confused. Maybe I need to rethink how I talk, because it seems every human being can't understand me. The last comment I'm going to read out is from the man himself, XXXTentacion, where he commented, I swear, the second time that Logan Paul takes another L at the end of the year. The man does seem to take a lot of Ls recently, although he got his first W for a while, him and his impulsive team won, Podcast of the year, so you got to congratulate him for that. Speaking about his podcast, as I was saying earlier on in the video, Mike Wojcicki, he's a massive integral part of the podcast, and he himself uploads YouTube videos now and then, mainly called The Night Shift, but when he first started the channel, he done a video with Logan Paul around like nine, ten months ago, where some juicy Q&A questions became reality. Lily Borthwick, did it bother you in the beginning when people didn't like you on Impulsive? I think it bothers anybody to not have people fuck with you. It, it definitely wasn't the best feeling, but it also taught me a lot about pulling back, letting the guests talk more. I still like to interject a lot, but uh, I think we've gotten it down a lot better now. People are definitely pretty happy about the way things are going, and I haven't really seen as much of it lately. What's your favorite? thing about the show uh, definitely our versatility um, one day we're kind of like talking about dicks the next day we're talking about politics we talk about basically everything on the show and so it's our ability to kind of go from topic to topic and be able to hang with any guests that comes through and I don't think there's really any other show that's doing that right now this is a question for the Logan I'm curious do you guys prefer when he sits down for an hour and does a podcast or would you prefer his old ways, ADHD, energetic, chaotic vlogs? Speaking about ADHD, if you're sitting here with ADHD and you're watching this video, for some weird reason, you have not clicked the red button. I don't know what's going through your brain if you're not thinking straight, but click the red button right now. AD Solansky, how did you and Logan become best friends brothers? Fuck, I'll just say it. I heard about these giant bean bags called Love Sacks. And I went into a, a store nearby in Sherman Oaks and I was like, hey, like I'm a social media influencer. Is there any chance I could get one of these for free in exchange for some sort of marketing? And they gave me this contact number of a guy named Mike. So I emailed Mike and he emailed back. We got the texting and they gave me some love sacks. Turned out that this dude was really fucking funny. Like I asked him, I said, hey, these love sacks are super soft. Can you have sex on them? And like I do that sort of as a feeler because some people are like, oh, especially like corporate guys. But Mike was what did you say? I said the covers are machine washable so the cum will wash out. Yeah, I was like, that's great. We just kept texting he was really funny. To be honest, I don't think people were giving Mike enough respect. Before Mike even joined the Maverick team, Logan Paul, he was literally getting a controversy and he didn't have to deal with it every five minutes. That's why he was always getting scrutiny from everyone. Now, since having Mike as part of the team, he's known how to better handle all these controversies 
and using his deflective comedy is really working for Logan and his team. We did a collab with Travis Pastrana, we were at his house, and then uh, we did like a bunch of deals, but I think really like after Tokyo, like when things were not yeah, super good. Mike kind of, he big brothered me in a, in a really big way. He's like, yo, with all due respect, what the fuck is going on with your team? Why do you keep making these mistakes? Who's watching you and telling you you aren't doing the right thing right now? And I was like, to be honest, we're like, Nobody. it's kind of, it's bad. It's We're in shambles right now. And Mike kind of came together and made sure I took the necessary steps to glue everything back together. And now that's happened, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're good right now, yeah. Thankfully for Logan, since Japan, you could now say Logan Paul's maybe more known for the boxing because of KSI, because that was a global scale. There's so much promo to it, so much marketing for that fight itself, even for both of them. And now you can say he's more well known for gagging on a sausage. Raven 518, who is your dream guest for the podcast? For me, Drake and Joe Rogan. I like Joe Rogan. He's the number one podcast right now. I like Drake just because I like Drake. I think it would be cool guests. I think like Elon Musk or like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like an oh. intellect. You know? And Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, I know you're not watching this video, but if you see this clip. Bro, I texted him. We're ready for you, Ben. Keontae Battle is at Logan Paul part of the Illuminati. I always like want to double check. I don't think I am. I don't remember signing up for any Illuminati. I don't think the Illuminati exists. Well, who knows? I don't know. The fact out of nowhere, Logan Paul was trending worldwide on Twitter because of this leaked apparent tape that came out proves to me he's part of the Illuminati. And like I said before, if for some reason you don't agree with me, you're wrong because I'm always right. As you guys know, on my channel, I do like his most as subscribers out there, shouts. Whether you're sitting there watching this on a chair, maybe you're not on a chair, and you're like, you know what? I do want a chance to get a shout out. Literally, all you need to do just be active on the channel, whether it's constantly liking, going subscribing, all different videos. And today, shout out to someone called Nose for Life. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Much to appreciate it. Sunny 2K19, would you suck a dick to save impulsive? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. I would. I don't want to think about having to do this, but like, yo, it's a fucking great show, dude. I also have problems with these questions that put you in these extremely strange scenarios that will never happen. They're like, uh. all right, that's it. <laughs> you got one chance here to save this show. And if you'll <laughs> suck this dick right now. Like, that will never yeah, happen, yeah. bro. I'm sucking that. Now, I'm not saying it's a coincidence, but the fact that the leak tape is someone giving a head therefore indicates the magnetic fields are parallel with the universe indicating Logan Paul did save impulsive proving Einstein's theory Logan Paul is the one in the tape. Mr. Downlight that decided to weigh in on his whole Logan Paul situation where yesterday he tweeted out now I understand why Logan Paul likes clinching me so much le mayo. And that's why at a press conference we saw Logan Paul go to kiss KSI because he was trying to unveil his true love for the man. Anyway guys, that's all for the video. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts. Now new information has come out. How Logan's dealt with it. Do you still for some reason believe he's the one gagging on that sausage? But make sure to follow my social medias, Instagram, like LiveTube, same as Twitter. But if you did enjoy, please do drop a like, go on, subscribe, and I'll see you later.